In word tapes, Omarosa says Trump caught on recording using racial slurs days before Omarosa Manigault Newman's tell-all book, Unhinged, is expected to hit shelves next week. Leaked excerpts revealed Friday that U.S. President Donald Trump has repeatedly used racial slurs and that there might even be actual recordings to back up the claims. According to The Guardian, which obtained a copy of her book, Omarosa, who is widely known by her first name due to her reality show fame, states that she was informed by three sources that Trump repeatedly said an asterisk 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 -er during the making of his reality show. The Apprentice Omarosa first participated on the show in 2004 and later returned for celebrity editions in 2008 and 2013. Incredibly, this person, who shall remain nameless, picked up the phone. We spoke, she writes. On this phone conversation, I was told exactly what Donald Trump said, yes, the N-word and others in a classic Trump goes nuclear rant, and when he'd said them, during production he was mic'd, and there is definitely an audio track. For over a year I'd been so afraid of hearing the specifics from someone who'd been in the room. Hearing the truth freed me from that fear. And only now that it's gone do I realize just how heavy it's been, she continued. Talk of Trump's use of the racial slur began to spring up as Trump was campaigning for the 2016 presidential election. At the time, reports indicated that there were tapes on which Trump is heard repeatedly using the slur, claims which were further pushed by actor and comedian Tom Arnold. Omarosa also went on to claim that she had personally witnessed Trump using racial slurs in the White House against George Conway, the husband of White House counselor Kellyanne Conway, who is Filipino on his mother's side. Would you look at this George Conway article, she quotes P.O.T.U.S. saying in the book. F asterisk asterisk King Flip. Disloyal. Fucking goo goo, as the story goes, it wasn't until her time at the White House came to a close that she suddenly realized that Trump was indeed a racist, a bigot and a misogynist. My certainty about the N-word tape and his frequent uses of that word were the top of a high mountain in of truly appalling things I'd experienced with him, during the last two years in particular, she wrote. It had finally sunk in that the person I'd thought I'd known so well for so long was actually a racist. Using the N-word was not just the way he talks but, more disturbing, it was how he thought of me and African Americans as a whole. Aside from slurs, Trump also reportedly tried to buy her silence after she parted ways with the administration. According to Omarosa, 24 hours after she'd gone in December 2017, she received an email with a contract to work on the 2020 campaign for $15,000 per month, according to NBC News. However, she noted, the non-disclosure agreement that came along with the offer was extremely restrictive. It said that I was forbidden from ever talking about the entire Trump family or the entire Pence family, to anyone in the universe, for all of eternity, she wrote. Some days after that particular incident, she received a flurry of notices from Trump's lawyers urging her to stay silent about Trump or else, in response to the allegations put forth by Omarosa, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders called the Ohio native a disgruntled former White House employee who is trying to profit off these false attacks. It's even worse that the media would now give her a platform after not taking her seriously when she had only positive things to say about the president during her time in the administration, Sanders stressed. And yet, after claiming that her tell all will be explosive, Omarosa might have already ruined her chances of silencing her critics. During an interview with NPR's Rachel Martin, the reality show contestant contradicted herself, saying she actually heard Trump say an asterisk 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 -er, as opposed to being informed of it by sources. When Martin confronted Omarosa over the discrepancy, going as far as reading the excerpt aloud, the author of Unhinged indicated that she'd heard the tape, herself. But this isn't the only eyebrow-raising revelation about Omarosa's memoir to pop up recently. Frank Lutz, a Republican political consultant mentioned in the book, tweeted Friday, saying the tell-all is shoddy work, even netizens have caught on and begun to criticize Omarosa, some calling for the release of these alleged tapes. The book, which is being published by Simon, 